like we got another drop-off coming. We're either UPS, FedEx, or Amazon daily oh, around oh, here. Up. Can we set it up there? You no, got I'll it. take it. Thank okay. you, sir. Have a good day. You're welcome. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yep. You have a good day, too. You too. How y'all doing? This is one of the toughest videos I think I've had to do today, to date. And I don't write my stuff down, I just speak my feelings. And uh, Well, this is my Mai, by the way. This is my Mai. She's our, she, uh, she came to visit about three months ago, maybe four months ago, and and uh, she's been with us ever since, haven't you? Yeah, what are you doing? Anyway, she was our granddaughter, and I think we've adopted her. She's a good girl. She don't go in the house. She comes and gets you once you got to go outside. Yeah, yeah, and she can get up and down the steps of the RV by herself. Imagine that. Yeah. Anyway, been a pretty tough couple of days for me. Um, Saturday, um, my dog Snickers, who you'll see in this video, is the last video that um, that he was in. Um, Thursday night, um, he started. He, he's always had an intermittent cough, and um, Thursday night he started coughing really bad um, in the living room. Uh, we always threw a blanket down for him to lay on, and he started coughing really bad, and um, he just it wouldn't stop. And um, Finally it would stop, and it would stop for just a few seconds and start back up. And About four months ago, back in December, um, we had to take him in because I thought he was dying then and the vet said that if we he had some bad teeth and his mouth was really abscessed and it was making him sick and so um, she pulled a bunch of Snickers teeth and gave him some strong antibiotics and some pain medication and he was back to normal old Snickers and she said that at the time that he had a uh, heart murmur, and um, two beats out of every six, he would have a heart murmur, and uh, we would have to keep an eye on it. And when I adopted Snickers about eight years ago from the prison I worked at, uh, he just cried and whined because he didn't want to be at the prison because he had to be shut in the cell from 9 p.m. and till 6 30 a.m. and and just he just didn't like it um, so when I brought him home I kept him for a couple days for a visit and I took him back and that's what they recommend that we do and um, I had not decided to keep Snickers because he had a lot of a lot of medical issues, and um, one day I was walking in the lineup, and um, our dog handler Stacy, our head dog handler Stacy, Snickers was sitting there on her lap, and he seen me go by, and he just started crying and like he was talking to me, and I knew right then and there I had to bring him home, and I did. When Snickers came into the prison, he had been living with an elderly woman who passed away. Well, she uh, fed Snickers all kinds of table scraps, and uh, I think we think that we're doing our animals uh, 
a favor and loving them by just keep throwing them food because they'll eat it. You throw it to them, they'll eat it. I don't even know whether they taste it or not, but um, Snickers had gotten so overweight that his belly, um, he was a little schnauzer, and you, you'll you see him in this video, but uh, I think he was a little something mix, schnauzer, spaniel, I don't know, terrier mix, but his legs were only about that long, but his belly was just off the floor when um, the Humane Society placed him at the prison. We had a dog program, the inmates trained him. And the inmates, um, by the way, uh, they do a good job. They do a good job with the dogs, and I would recommend any dog that was trained at the, at the prison and uh, because they're good dogs when you bring them home and they've got their shots and, and all that and you hit there's an adoption fee but the inmate uh, worked with Snickers and um, got the weight off of him got him in pretty good shape Sadie. and he has some other issues but I brought him home when he was crying that day because I just couldn't I couldn't not bring him home. And we kept him, and he was with us for about eight years, and he brought a lot of joy to our lives. And when I had to take him to the vet Saturday because of COVID, they come out and got him and took him in. And she said, if we uh, think that, you know, euthanasia might be an option that, you'll be able to come in and, and be with Snickers. So um, they took Snickers in and maybe 10 or 15 minutes passed and the vet called me on my phone and she said that uh, Snickers was deteriorating rapidly at this point. His um, heart murmur was went from two beats to four every every six beats at four of them was a murmur and it had turned into congestive heart failure and that's why he was coughing so bad and he had put on uh, two pounds in four months and was up to almost 19 pounds and for a little dog that's a lot and most of it was the water around his heart and she said we could put him on a couple medications but he was pretty miserable at this point um, they can't tell you when they're miserable they just uh, I could just see it in his eyes there was just a blank stare um, again like it was uh, four months ago when uh, we had the surgery done on his mouth and there was no emotion in Snickers. So I called Connie and um, she started crying and she said that she didn't get to tell him goodbye. And the vet said that he could last three weeks to three months. and But he wasn't really feeling the best. And so... I had to make the decision to to euthanize Snickers. Um, I was able to go in with him and, and hold him and talk to him and calm him because he didn't know what was going on. And um, she gave him the shot and he went to sleep. And um, we are getting an urn with Snickers ashes and because we're moving and I didn't want to bury him here and because we're moving and we've sold our home as if you've ever watched any of our videos you know that we've, we've sold our home and we did buy a small home base we got quite a bit of land but it's just got a small house on it and um, we got to have a place to park drifter when we're, when we're at home 
we don't know how many months that's going to be out of the year but this fall we're uh, we're headed out to Florida and Arizona and next month we're going to be I've got a, uh, a site at a Kikosin campground um, rented and we're going to stay there and be in our RV um, yeah um, it's one of the toughest decisions we have to make I remember when my dad had his stroke uh, uh, 2005 and he had a do not resuscitate living will and I was the executor and I got the call at work that he had had it and they were working on him and I guess in Ohio law that if the paramedics start working on someone that they came to rescue that they have to continue and um, even though he did not he had to do not resuscitate and so my dad laid brain dead in Grant Hospital in Columbus Ohio for three days and I stayed down there with him and um, I had to make that decision to turn the machine off and when they pulled that tube out of my dad's throat I just felt like he looked at me and like what are you doing and I felt like I let him down I feel like I let Snickers down and it's tough to live with sometimes and, but I just want you to know that I love y'all and um, some of you may have, have had to make that decision before too and it's not an easy one I've had to make the uh, euthanasia decision um, three times on an animal and you don't know why they just can't pass in their sleep Again, this was a tough video to make, and uh, I just hope um, Snickers forgives me, and, and um, I don't know whether dogs are in heaven or not. Some say they are, and some say they aren't, and I'm not going to argue with anybody about it, but um, he brought a lot of joy to my life, and to Connie's life, and... Um, he was a good dog. He was a good dog. I remember bringing him home. He just, I couldn't get out of his sight, man. He, he would follow me. And, and here recently even, he had to, uh, he had to be in the bathroom. Every time Connie or I would go to the bathroom, he would go to the door and he would just whine and, um, until we let him in the bathroom. And, and then I would throw the bathroom rug down and he would lay on the bathroom rug with me until I was done in the bathroom. And, and then, uh, but I'm gonna miss Snickers. He brought a lot of joy to my life and it's just tough sometimes when you think you let them down because they trust you and, and you have to make that decision and you don't know whether it's for the best. But um, I just took the vet at her, her word that he was deteriorating rapidly and he wasn't feeling the best even though he couldn't tell me that <clears throat> and I think he was about 13 or 14 I would guess him to be about 6 when I we adopted him from Mansi and uh, we had him over 8 years so but he was a good boy and, and uh, I just wanted to make this video and, and uh, tell y'all that I love you and um, Woodring's on the road are alive and well we're going to start hopefully we're, we're going to have to move twice in the next three weeks and hopefully when things settle down we'll be able to get some videos at the campground and uh, maybe some of me catching a big catfish that big I don't know but uh, love you all Connie loves you all and remember to love others because there's nothing else. All we have is God and our Savior, Jesus, and each other.
We'll catch you next time around. Bye-bye.